Viewers, did Popcorn actually confirm he and Shakir fought over a Nigerian groupie? Oh, what a guan! Plus, my father speaks about his 30 million that was stolen by a scammer. Liar. Jennifer, Mesado, no jokes about it. Stick around for the breakdown. Like the video, very important. If you need to the channel, click the bell. You do not want to miss a moment. So, me, I go kick off things with the popcorn topics. So, someone commented underneath a post popcorn made on his Instagram page. Watch Jack your matey. Popcorn reacted like this. Go suck your mother. P U S S Y. Girl, what P M E? If you touch them. So, basically, popcorn is saying, Woman, P A him. If you have sex with them. You see me? He end up went further and said, me still would not fight over none. The person replied, Who said you're fighting for? Sound guilty, Marco Wave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Viewers, these persons are hilarious. But one thing realize most people have a problem with is popcorn always respond to negative comments. People out there I give good remarks and popcorn never see them commented and just scroll through and look for the bad comment but it's this confirmation that something go on between jackyor and popcorn viewers you all must have heard this story with jackyor and popcorn i'm like <laughs> so jackyor flew in a nigerian groupie you see me and the second to last day it seemed like the nigerian girl text popcorn you see me so if you come for me right now popcorn end up sent someone to the location but when the person reached the location they said blood scene now jack your how's this then the person report about the popcorn when popcorn followed with his entourage zimmy and confront jack your you see it them end up grab up each other <laughs> seem like someone in popcorn entourage all them waste you see me like them have a machine pan them jack your running for the last and come out and you know there's a stand up re, 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 and it is said the nigerian girl end up caught with popcorn and she was supposed to leave the next day and the following day she fly out you see me so is popcorn confirming this car popcorn say me still would not fight over none you see me and this person say who said you fighting for <laughs> Start people, just let me know your thoughts on this situation. You see it all right now, viewers. Dancehall artist Movado, channel star, going through a rough time. Lost his mother, rest in peace, Miss Penny. Condolences to the family. Zimmy plus Movado's son Dante was sentenced to life. Just prayers alone can keep Movado. Zimmy now, Movado breaks silent on a situation of a woman. That scam him 30 million dollars called Jennifer Masado. You see it? Before I read what Movado said, back in 2018, Masado, she was 68, is facing nearly a dozen fraud related charges in four separate cases in which investigators allege that she used forged documents to sell a number of properties valued at million dollars, including Movado. My father was the one that ended up made it go public, you see me? And in the video, it's the dark skinned woman, not the white one, you see me? So I am going to play the video first, and after I read what my father said. People, are the brown lady, a she named Jennifer Messara, not the white lady, Zimmy, Jaja. The criminal. Yes. yes uh -huh. What do I do? Garland, the police have been fucking 
come here. The, 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 the bailiff was on the phone with Garland. He's telling them there's court today at 10. This guy's saying, but I have an order. He said, yeah, that's that been set order. aside. There's legal it's documents. And this woman is saying, no, it's not. And the fucking it's woman is lying. Okay, people. All right. My father said, over three years, this lady scammer, Jennifer Mesada, stole over $30 million from me. It seems her job in Jamaica is to proudly scam people's properties and money as the power to take your money and cannot go to prison, charge over seven times and counting for scamming 100 of millions of dollars from citizens of Jamaica and, and never being penalized. Every time she goes to court, she goes home. Two years ago, she and the court system tried to turn my money into a loan of $150,000 per month payable over 20 years to collect from a 75-year-old. Please remember, I did not lend her money. She scammed it. A couple of years ago, she got an opportunity to write an affidavit to the court saying she has no money to pay and the reason she should not go to jail I remember going to this lady office for the first time finding out she is a criminal she blatantly told me in front of her lawyer there is nothing I can do about my money and she knows who to call then said I pulled a gun on her and hit her to the police a fair plot she planned people my father meant right here she said Mother pulled gun on her, you see me, and hit her in her head, you see me. But that was a fail plan. That day she said she can make my life a living hell. Because after all, I was the first person to make her get charged. Which was also a fight for the police who told me, even though they were trying their best, she was well connected people. This is an uptown lady. A lot of connection. I wonder if she has some secret for the politician them. Prove it when she went to court and a judge told the police they should not lock her up on a Friday because she can't post bail CMD. Look at this. And look how many get a youth. Them try lock up on a Friday because they know say them cannot get bail over the weekend but you have this lady out here scam out the people them you see me but no because she is a liar she's from uptown she have links them not do it imagine that and would stay far the weekend if i didn't threaten to go on social media she wouldn't have been charged imagine that people in the first place they charge her then for someone else's money that was fighting years before me. Then they charge her for my money and several others after. What is the DPP doing about this? Aristocratic scammers, viewers, how am I going to find her already? Not even me can pronounce it good. John Oster, big up herself, David Brooks. Or is because of who she knows and where she's from and her power she pulls in the system. I am waiting to see on May 19, 2021, what this judge is doing about my money at Jamaica Gleaner, at Andrew Olness, at Jamaica Constable Force. Viewers, what's your take on this situation? Channel Star people, I read a lot. I can't believe I just did that. Channel Star. But, people, it is not a good look. As you can see, classism is real in Jamaica. I am not picking up for any ghetto youth that do crime, you see me? But everyone should get equal treatment. That's why I said in other video, I'm dealing with ghetto youth that end up have money different from an uptown man that have money. And right now, viewers, this lady is from the uptown, you see me? And let me give you another joke. In 2018, yes, you see him here. She got charged. She went to court and she messed herself up. Channel Star. People, see her there, right there, so brawling. I think she was around 68, 69 at that time. And they were feeling sorry for her, but she planned it. You see me? Listen to this, viewers. A police officer that was at the court 
Yes, man, the entire courthouse knew what happened. The entire staircase was a mess from top to bottom. People had to be sidestepping and hopping over filth. It was embarrassing. Janitors had to be called in. It was the talk around here all day because Jennifer Messiah defecated on herself as she made her way to the courtroom to answer fraud charges. Jennifer was there. Jennifer. Because as I said, alleged that she used fraud documents to sell a number of properties valued at millions of dollars. So it's like she fabricate the actual price for the property. You see me? So if a property, it costs 100 million on her paper, she put it 200 million. So it seemed like a such a scam. The people, they see me? And justice need to be served. So viewers, we need to follow up on this case. You see me? It's sure to say, people can get set up and go to prison for nothing at all that they have committed. So you, can't, so you cannot blame people when they say they're innocent. You see me? They now plead guilty. Persons have them rights. You don't have to plead guilty. Because if you know you're not doing the crime, why are you going to plead guilty? You see me? But people, you know, just leave your opinions in the comment section. You see it.